This video is going to be a comparison of the RPM Tesla Model 3 screwless second generation mud flaps and the OEM Tesla mud flaps. Basically, we're looking at my setup. I'm lowered on mountain pass comfort coilovers, so I'm lowered about an inch all the way around. The reason why I'm moving away from the RPM Tesla is because when I would go over speed bumps, it would bottom out. It wouldn't flex. The material was a little bit different. OEMs are made of a little bit softer material that do flex. We're going to have to see how the clearance is over the ground, but I wanted to show you the comparisons in terms of height, length of the mud flaps themselves, and then see which would work better for a lowered vehicle. Here's the RPM Tesla Gen 2 screwless mud flap so they use longer clips than the factory i had these for about a week on my vehicle what i noticed i'm only lowered an inch but when i would go over speed bumps they would usually bottom out and the clips whether they would bottom out or even in the rear would pop out so i wanted to try the oem tesla uh, mud flaps because they're made of a different material to see hopefully that they flex a little bit better i just want to talk about rpm tesla's customer service so i had emailed them told them you know the clips weren't working. I asked if they had a different solution and they said they didn't, but they went ahead and I provided them my shipping address and they went ahead and shipped me out a bunch of clips. So if they continue to fall out, I have replacements. So that was great. So I appreciate that RPM Tesla. What I did notice is that, and I read this on reviews and also saw YouTube videos about it, but what happens is if you don't put a paint protective film, so a PPF from 3M or something like that, what tends to happen is you get a little bit of dust, and I don't know if you can see that very well on the camera, but it made an outline of where, there we go, of where the dust would settle and rub. So what I went ahead and did is I went and ordered some 3M cut from Vivid on Amazon. So I'll be laying that underneath the mud flaps that I install, and then I'll also be doing that to the rear to make sure that it doesn't get any worse. Also what I'm gonna do is I have this ice speed compound so this is for scratches and swirls and i have my makita drill here and then i'm just going to use this uh, mother's ball for buffing it's super cheap but i'm just going to use it and to try to get rid of those swirls before i lay the new ppf all right so i went ahead and buffed that out it's not rid of it but for the most part, it looks a lot better. So now I'm gonna do a template of the mud flap for the PPF and then just lay it so that it lays cleanly and so that it doesn't get any worse. Here's the OEM Tesla mud flaps. I already opened it, but we'll just take a look at what comes in the box. You get the hardware. There's a screw underneath that you have to pop a little flap underneath the undercarriage and then longer pins. Then you have instructions and then here's the so it's a two-piece, so basically if you choose to just mount it shorter, you can do it like this. If not, use the double-sided tape to make it long. But because I'm lowered, I have to see what the clearance is going to look like, but I may be too low, but we're going to see. This is just the test fit. I didn't bolt or clip anything, but this is the small OEM mud flap. So from the ground, looking at about three inches. So three inches of clearance with the OEM small mud flap. And again, the extension is touching the ground. It's not quite as dramatic as it seemed at first, but it's touching the ground already. All right, so let me go ahead and clip the RPM Tesla. So it has these side clips right here that you just clip onto the fender. Three inches, so. I'm just gonna stick with the RPM Tesla ones. The OEM ones are probably a little bit more aerodynamic, but probably minimal just because of design. But I kind of like how this one's more aggressive. So now I need to, again, do the PPF underneath it so that it doesn't get any worse. So let's do that. Bye. 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 So I went ahead and just did like a little rough mock-up of what it would look like, but I don't like how it looks. It stands out too much. So I have PPF all the way on my front hood, 
my bumper. But the only thing is I only did, and if you could see the line right here, right there, I only did half my fender, which I probably should have just done my full fender, but that was like another, I think 120 bucks. But I mean, at that point, if you're spending that much on PPF, you might as well. But if I would have gotten the full fender, then obviously I wouldn't have had this issue from the beginning. So if you do get PPF, make sure that you do the full fender. So I'm just gonna go ahead and change my game plan. I'm gonna go ahead and get a piece of paper, make a template, try to make it a little bit cut wider than the mud flap and then see if that looks better. So it's just not so blocky. <laughs> So here's my little template that I made. I already cut it out I'm using a razor. I cut it a little bit long. So basically when I do it, I have this to overlap to wrap it around so it doesn't come up. Let me go ahead and lay it. So I went ahead and finished it. This is the template. Um, but basically that made it so that it looked more, looked cleaner. So you can't really notice it. It's a lot better than the first time I had it. All right, so this is the passenger side. This side came out way better. Like, yeah, you can see it, but it just looks way cleaner. So I'll probably redo the driver's side. Yeah, so overall, basically, RPM Tesla worked better with the lower Tesla um, on the Mountain Pass Comfort Coilovers. What I would say to do is if you're gonna install any aftermarket and use PPF, it's obviously gonna protect your paint. Don't do what I did and many others where you're trying to reverse the damage at the mud flaps. I mean, it's supposed to prevent issues from happening, um, protect your paint, but ultimately if the solution is making another issue, then, you know, try to do something to make sure that, that doesn't happen. And again, the OEM Tesla mud flaps are way too low for a lowered Tesla. I think even for a stock one, it might be pretty low. But again, if you have lowering springs, coilovers, or anything like that, you're not gonna have many options. You're probably gonna have to go with the aftermarket unless you wanna pay $40 for just the front ones. I mean, in terms of value, RPM Tesla and their customer service, like 32 bucks shipped to my house. You can't beat that deal. I wanna go with bigger wheels in the future, offset wider wheels. So, you know, the mud flap are gonna be important for the future also. So, you know, I don't know the amount of rocks it's gonna throw, but you know, just something to be cautious of. All right, so until next time, thank you. Knockout, you win!